Hello guys. Uh, so in the last video of chip 3, uh, we saw the concrete breakout strength and um, we have seen an exclusive example of how to design a pedestal for a given tension force. So that assumption is purely based on uh, the concrete inside the pedestal is going to resist all the tension force, this 40 kips. 40 kips is the pure tension force acting at the center of the pedestal we have taken as an example and uh, so how these all formulas have been arrived and substituted and uh, arrived at the concrete strength uh, to resist the tension how we have arrived at 40.57 kips is what I have explained in the check 3 video you can check that link in the given in the description you can check that video and uh, in the end of the video that video I would have explained uh, what if we uh, how to do the calculation to include the reinforcement in for the inside this calculation which means this assumption completely takes uh, takes into account concrete is going to resist the tension so because of that we have ended up with giving a plant pedestal size of 29 inch what if we have a restriction of uh, pedestal to be 18 inch or say 24 inch 2 feet pedestal because of the site restriction and whatever the reason may be uh, so that in that cases the reinforcement inside the pedestal will come to help so the simple assumption here is we are asking help uh, help of the reinforcement inside the pedestal to share uh, to share the burden of taking the tension along with the uh, concrete or as simple as we can say um, what if the entire reinforcement is assumed to create tension force so in that case let's see how the concrete pedestal size is uh, reducing and how, how to do that calculation so that goes to the next uh, that brings us to the next section so where I have drawn a similar pedestal of the same uh, size and here the difference would be the red dots you are seeing that is uh, the rebars or uh, reinforcements we have placed inside the pedestal and uh, this circle I will come to the later part so here what is so this is the cross section of a pedestal where this is an anchor bolt and this is a reinforcement and this is the 35 degree line uh, this is the code suggests the, that the breakage line would start uh, by a 35 degree and uh, an LE is the development length we have arrived from the area uh, the crack starts and HEF is the embedment length and the Dmax is the distance between the anchor bolt center and the reinforcement and center and CHEV is the horizontal and the vertical covers so all these inputs I have given here and we have considered so let us assume uh, a bar rebar size of 0.75 inch uh, which is 20 mm bar dia number of rebars inside the pedestal is 12 so spacing between the bars is calculated d max is calculated um, based on the pedestal plan size okay and here so we cannot take every rebars uh, inside the pedestal uh, that helps in effectively taking the tension so what is the logic is what code says i will go to the code ac31819 what suggest so you could see this is a base plate with the anchor bolts and uh, this is an anchor reinforcement hairpin bar they have given extra this is an extra reinforcement uh, given to take care of tension this is not a pedestal this you could consider it as a foundation or slab where this hairpin rebar has been given to take uh, to, to take care of the tension okay so here you can see uh, the distance between the anchor bolt and 0.5 HEF uh, the distance that has been placed so what does it mean is uh, if you draw a circle of diameter of HEF, so in our example case our HEF is 12 inch. So if you draw a circle of HEF uh, 12 inch diameter around the anchor bolt, so whatever the number of rebars in, uh, inside the circle you will get, that actively participates in taking care of the tension. So that is the logic. So that is that is what we are getting from this drawing. So this is this is the figure number and this is the page number <coughs> you could refer it in AC318 by yourself right so in our case tension we have considered a pure tension as 40 kips so which means all the an four anchor bolts will participate in taking the tension so we need to draw circles around all the four, four anchor bolts there may be some cases if there is a moment major axis moment or minor axis moment only two bolts will participate in tension and two bolts will be in compression for example if there is if this is a moment 
axis this two bolts will be in compression this two bolts will be in tension in that case you need to draw a circle only around the two bolts where the bolts are in tension okay so uh, for example in the pure tension case we know we we already saw that all the four bolts will be in tension so we have drawn all circles all um, on above all the anchor bolts and uh, if you count this is each circle has three rebars so 3 into 4 12 rebars is uh, effectively taking part in taking the tension so in case of uh, two bolts actively participating in tension there would be only six bars okay and then you need to give six here and uh, what is the actual development length as per code this is for non seismic uh, for seismic you can refer page number 316 there is a different formula available that would end up in giving more development length right so development length this LD, this LD is a provided development length. So, and LD is uh, the development length uh, as per design. Okay. So, basically, this rebar portion coming out of after this point. So, this is the breakage point. So, if suppose the cap, um, if suppose the pedestal is supposed to be breaking out from the tension. So, this top portion of the area would be breaking out. So, to resist, to keep these two top and bottom of the pedestal to be in position, this reinforcement helps to stitch it together. <clears throat> so, this LDE is so much of important, right? And this LDE, as per the code, I have given the class in the page number for your reference. So, all these factors uh, were, ta were arrived from this table, uh, table 25.4.2.5, I have given this as a reference here. And uh, so uh, the tie, uh, re, uh, tie uh, diameter, uh, diameter I have taken as 0.5 inch, right? So if you substitute all this value here, you would be ending up with LD development length as 21.34, which means uh, as per design, we would be requiring a development length of 21 inch, but we are having a development length of only LD. So how to calculate this LD? It's simple. LD is calculated. This is the LD. And this can be calculated using this formula, HAF minus top cover and minus this uh, element needs to be subtracted. So we are arriving at a value of 7.8 inch. So we are having a value of around, say, suppose it's 8 inch, right? So we are, ha we are having a value of only 8 inch in place of 21 inch. So what does it mean? We ne means we need to reduce the, our capacity, capacity of the anchor breakout resistance of our rebar and concrete, right? So... Uh, let us come to the final part of this video. Uh, this final part calculates the anchor reinforcement breakout resistance. So it is nothing simply uh, uh, strength reduction factor 0.75 and into Fi is the yield strength of the rebar into number of bars. Number of bars is taken from here. That's 12 in this case. Area is pi by 4 d square in each bar, right? And into Le by Ld. This is the this is the area where we are reducing the capacity based on the available given rebar length post this point right so if we substitute this we are getting 88.28 kips which means the 12 rebars inside the pedestal would be able to resist the tension of 88.28 versus the available 40 kips so without even taking um, the concrete in uh, uh, concrete in action our rebars only would be able to resist this amount of 88 kips amount of tension so with this we can uh, further economize our section like uh, we can reduce this 0 0.75 to 0 0.5 like 20 from 20 mm we can able to reduce to 12 mm rebar see now it has come down to 58 kips i think for 40 kips of force 58 kips would be safe enough to uh, keep and assume so we can fix this uh, design with giving 12 numbers of uh, 12 mm rebar right and uh, if you are considering seismic, then the you need to multiply uh, 0.75 with this uh, arrived value, and then you can play with this data accordingly. So that's it, guys. So this is a very simple uh, calculation. I have given all the class reference code reference for your uh, for your easy identification. Okay, and uh, if you have any doubt on this, please uh, give that in the comment. I'll try to answer that. Thank you, guys.